Josephus Flavius is the most known ancient Jewish historian. He was born in Jerusalem around the year 36, which means just a few years after Jesus Christ was crucified. His real name was Yosef ben Matataya, and he ascended from a royal and clerical Judaic family. He was a member of the Pharisees and was a well-known member of the Jewish society. Even though he had Roman friends, he participated in the Jewish rebellion against the Roman reign, after which he was imprisoned. The Roman Emperor Vespasian freed him, and as gratitude, Joseph took his family name, Flavius. He spent his last days in Rome, writing about the history of the Jews. His works include Jewish Antiquities, which he wrote in 20 tomes, and Flavius Josephus against Appion, a work in which he opposed the Hellenistic historians of the time, who mockingly wrote about the Jews. He even wrote his autobiography. Flavius, even though he was a Jew and a Pharisee, as a historian, left extraordinary historical data for the activities of Jesus Christ and left testimonies about the activities of Saint John the Baptist. Josephus Flavius left a lot of valuable information about the life of the Macedonians in the Holy Land, not only from the time when they completely ruled Palestine after being conquered by Alexander the Great of Macedon, but from much later as well. After describing the conquering of the Holy Land by Alexander the Great of Macedon, for whom he writes in a positive tone, Flavius continued to describe the events that happened after the death of Alexander the Great. It is known that the Macedonian dynasty Seleucids still reigned over the Holy Land. It was a dynasty formed by Alexander's general Seleucus. In the middle of the 2nd century BC, because of the bad behavior of Antiochus IV from this Macedonian dynasty against the Jews, they started a rebellion led by the family of Maccabees and in the end succeeded and founded their own independent state. When Josephus Flavius writes about the Jewish rebellion against the Seleucid family, he very clearly states that the Jews actually fought for their freedom from the slavery imposed by the Macedonians. While writing about the death of the Jewish leader Judas Maccabee, Flavius says, Judas left behind him a glorious reputation and memorial by gaining freedom for his nation and delivering them from slavery under the Macedonians. Referring to the successes of the rebellion leader Judas Maccabee against the Macedonian Seleucids, Josephus Flavius writes, The nation of the Jews recovered their freedom when they had been brought into slavery by the Macedonians. Flavius wrote that the Jews were under the government of the Macedonians, meaning the Seleucids, in his 19th book, Jewish Antiquities, but in many other places as well. Flavius also writes about the concern he expressed about the Macedonian army leader Bacchides, when he found out that the killed Jewish leader Judas Maccabee was replaced by his brother Jonathan. Here too, Flavius called the Seleucids Macedonians. When Bacchides heard this, and was afraid that Jonathan might be very troublesome to the king and the Macedonians, as Judas had been before him, he sought how he might slay him by treachery. Flavius called the Seleucids Macedonians when he writes about the request that the Jews made to the Egyptian king Ptolemy Philometor, another Macedonian, in which they asked for his permission to build a Judaic temple in Alexandria. 
This request was made by the son of a Jewish high priest called Onias. When this Onias saw that Judea was oppressed by the Macedonians and their kings, out of a desire to purchase to himself a memorial and eternal fame, he resolved to send to King Ptolemy and Queen Cleopatra to ask leave of them that he might build a temple in Egypt like to that at Jerusalem. All of this information is very important, especially because in a lot of world encyclopedias and other works, it is untruthfully written that the Seleucids supposedly spread Greek culture and language in their state, that they built Greek cities, etc. It is true that their state had a lot of elements from various countries, including the Greek. But that does not mean that they were Greeks. Besides, we can see from the testimonies that Flavius himself made the Jews completely aware that they were under Macedonian, and not Greek, slavery. Flavius calls the Seleucids Macedonian in his book War of the Jews as well. Here too he writes about the fight of Simon Maccabee against the Seleucids saying Simon freed the Jews from the dominion of the Macedonians after 170 years of the empire of Seleucus. Flavius describes the founding of the independent Jewish state by Simon Maccabee as But Simon, who was made high priest by the multitude, on the very first year of his high priesthood set his people free from their slavery under the Macedonians. So, this is another affirmation made by Flavius about the ethnic Macedonian character of the Seleucids, even 200 years after the Macedonians firstly moved to the Holy Land. In his book, Flavius Josephus against Appian, Flavius mentions the Macedonians as citizens of the Egyptian city Alexandria. In the second part, he writes that Grecians and Macedonians who were in possession of this city. Practically, Josephus Flavius is another ancient historian whose works oppose the modern Greek propaganda. <laughs>